So iOS 17 is finally here with a host of new changes and features. But one thing that hasn't changed is the way it looks. You still have the same icons, the same widgets, the same lock screen and home screen. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can customize and personalize them on your iPhone. So to kick things off, the very first thing I'll be showing you is how to change the home screen icons. Now there's quite a few applications out there that allow you to do the same. So we're gonna use Monaco, which in my opinion, it's probably the best one out of them. So once you install the application and you open it, you can see there's quite a few icon packs right here. Now full disclaimer, some of the icon packs are only available with the pro version of the application. So keep that in mind, but most of them are available with the basic version. So you can see there's quite a few in there. So once you pick the one you like, you can just click on it and you can just click on the bottom here to install them. Now this will take you to Safari and this will download a profile. So you have to go allow and then you have to wait for it to get downloaded. So once it's downloaded, just jump back to your settings and it'll be at the very top. So click on it and then click on install and it'll ask you for your password. So once you put your password in, it'll ask for installing again. So click on that and then click on done and now your icons have been installed. Now the, the other way to find the, the, the profiles is going to general, scrolling down, going to device management and all the profiles will be down in there. So once you install your specific icon pack as I have right here, when you go back to your home screen, all the icons are right there. And the best part about this is they're already sort of linked to the application. So if I click on camera, it'll take me to camera and you don't have to route them to anything because they are pre-routed. And the other thing is that you can obviously easily uninstall them. So you can see you have quite, quite a few different ones right here. And once you go back in settings, if you click on remove and put your password in remove again, you will see that that specific icon pack has been removed from the phone. So it's really easy to install them and get rid of them, which makes the whole experience even better. So now let's talk about the widgets because we have interactive widgets in iOS 17. So there's a whole lot you can do with them. So the application I'm gonna show you is called Color Widgets. And this is an amazing application because the best part is you can still as many widgets as you like because most of the applications will restrict you on how many you can have. But this one's pretty amazing. So you can customize everything you want. You can customize the background colors, the, the way it looks, you can even add images. And obviously this is a quick guide on one of them. So you can just set a widget out of all the widgets you have and it'll quickly change right on your phone. Now the best part about this one is that there's a lot of customizability. So there are still some pro version ones in here, but most of the free ones are pretty good. And you can have your sunrises, your sunsets, images, and you also have these lock screen ones, which I will get back to you in the later part of the video. But moving on, let's talk about another application which is really good for widgets. It's just called Widget Smith. Now I'm pretty sure most of you are aware of this since iOS 15 because I made a video then as well. But this one is pretty nifty as well because there's quite a few new options with it. So you can have your images, you can have your clocks and you can customize them in so many ways. So you can change the color of the font, you can change the, the way it's placed, you can add borders to it. And again, there's so many other things you can do with this. So once you select and once you make your own widget and once you save it, you just go back to your home screen and you long press on, on one of the icons or just on the blank part of the screen and go to edit home screen and search for widget smith. So once you go in there, just click on that and select the smaller box or whatever box you customize. And the other part is just holding it again and editing the widget and then selecting. So we have widget two in there. So once you select that, you can see it's right here on the home screen. But if you want an application that does it all for you and you want a consistent theme, then you have an application called Screen Kit. Now this one is really good because you have wallpapers, you have widgets, you have so much you can do with this. And the best part is that they provide you with these sort of presets here. So you can have these specific themes on your home screen. And again, full disclaimer, some of them are only available with the pro versions. So you have to keep that in mind, but it still gives you a good color palette and a good idea on how you can customize your home screen further. So as I said, you also have wallpapers. You have these widgets for your home screen. So these are the tiny ones for your lock screen. And there's quite a few in there. And then you have some bigger widgets for your home screen as well. And just lastly, wallpapers as I mentioned previously. So yeah, this one's pretty good as well. And as always, all the links will be down in the description. But moving on, let's talk about the lock screen. So one of the biggest changes this year is the option to change the font size of the time. But other than that, it's still pretty much the same. So as I mentioned earlier, I'm using color widgets for most of my widgets. But as an F1 fan, I also use box box because you can have the race times, you can have the team points or the driver points right up here. So again, a really nice widget to have. 
but the main one is still color widgets. So with this one, you can have the smaller or the bigger size, and then you can customize the one you have. So similar to the home screen widgets, you can have presets in here. So once you click on it, you can see you have quite a few in there. So once it's like the one you like, you can have it displayed right on your lock screen. So you can have your steps, you can have an image, you can have the sunset time, you can have basically anything you prefer. So once you open the application, they have a dedicated page for all the lock screen widgets. And again, full disclaimer, most of them are only available with the pro version, but still there's quite a good selection with the free version. So once you like one, just click on it and go set widget and you can put it on any of the presets or you can create a new preset. And when you select it, if I go back to my lock screen, you can see it's already changed right up here. So again, there's quite a few things you can do with this one and all of they're quite limited in how you can customize them. You can still have an image up there. You can have the calendar and you can have as many presets as you please. So again, simply just select one, click on set widget, select it and it'll be put up right on your lock screen right away. Now, obviously you can customize it even further with a personalized wallpaper and you can even change the color scheme by customizing it, making it black and white, making it grayscale. But it's pretty limited with what you can do on the lock screen as opposed to the home screen. We cannot still change the Siri shortcuts there, which I hope Apple gives us the option in the next iOS version. But yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Now all the links for all the applications will be down in the description. I hope you all enjoyed the video and if you did, give it a big thumbs up. Thanks again for watching. Stay tuned for more. Until then, please like, comment and subscribe. Peace.